Hey everyone, my name's Sean Wright, Lead Product Evangelist with Kentico. And in this Experience by Kentico Technical Spotlight, we'll see how in just a couple of minutes, you can start developing solutions with Experience by Kentico. All the technology that we'll be using is cross-platform. So it doesn't matter if you're on Mac, Linux, or Windows, you can start building solutions with Experience by Kentico today. Let's jump over to the terminal and browser to get started. Experience by Kentico is built with C Sharp, ASP.NET Core, React, and SQL Server. And it uses the modern .NET tooling that you know and love. We'll start here with the Experience by Kentico documentation to guide us through the installation process. So you can access the documentation by going to docs.experience.io forward slash XP. If we look at the navigation here and open it up, we see there's a section developers and admins and underneath that installation. We'll go ahead and click that and it'll take us to the installation documentation. And there's some information here at the top that says what things we need in our environment in order to start working with Experience by Kentico, but I'm just gonna walk through them directly by showing some tabs. So the first thing you're gonna need is the .NET SDK. And you can get to this by going to .NET, and it will bring you to this page and you can download the .NET SDK and the version you're gonna want is .NET 8. After you get that installed, we'll need to install SQL Server. And you can find the SQL Server download by going to your search engine of choice and typing SQL Server downloads. And you can see here, the first result I get is this page. And if we scroll down a little bit, we can see that there's an option for SQL Server Express. You can use that if uh, you're on Windows and you want to install SQL Server permanently in your environment. You can also use Docker if you're on Linux or Windows and or Linux or Mac. And both of these uh, links will have instructions on how to proceed with installing SQL Server. Once you have that set up, the next thing you'll want is VS Code. And if you type VS Code into search, the first result here will take you to a page to download VS Code as an editor. You can use Writer or you can use Visual Studio if you already have those installed and you're familiar with those IDEs. Uh, next is you'll need a terminal of some kind. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to be using Windows Terminal, which you can download from the Microsoft Store. But if you have a terminal already installed on your machine, you can use that. Um, so if you type Windows Terminal Store into search, this first result takes us to the Microsoft Store and you can install it from here. And now we can go back to the installation instructions and we can see that the first thing we have to do here is install project templates. So Experience by Kentico comes with templates that will help you get a project um, set up really quickly. And since we're using .NET 8, um, these, the second set of instructions, this command is going to be the one that's applicable to us. So I'll just copy the code and I'll go ahead and paste it in here. I'll run this and we can see that the templates have been installed and they installed version 28.1.0, which is the latest version as of this recording. So now if I scroll down in the documentation, we can see that there's several available project templates and these will match up with what we see in the terminal here. Um, the one we're going to use is the Kentico Experience Sample MVC. This uh, creates a dancing goat project, dancing goat being a uh, made up coffee store that uh, has a lot of content already preloaded design and, and uh, templates for web pages and things like that. So it gives us a lot to work with and explore when we're working with Experience by Kentico for the first time. To actually create that project, we're going to use the .NET CLI. And we can see here there is a command using .NET new, and then the name of the template, which we can see here's the short name of the template. And there's other options that we can provide, but we're gonna keep this pretty simple. And so um, we can see here, I have a new directory that I'm in, and I'll show you that it's completely empty. So just create a new directory in your file system and then type .NET new. And then the short name that we want is Kentico Experience Sample MVC right here. And I'll just paste that. And then we get to give it a name and I'm gonna call it Dancing Goat. And then when I hit enter, that template will be installed. And there we go. 
So the template's set up. Uh, now it's asking me if I want to restore a .NET tool. Uh, I'm going to answer yes, because that .NET, .NET tool will let me uh, install the database for the experience by Kentico solution. And we can see this Kentico experience DB manager was um, restored. So now in the documentation, I'm going to scroll down to the next section, create the project database. And this is where we will leverage um, SQL Server to restore the templates database as a new database in SQL Server. And I'm going to just copy a command. You can see there's lots of options here. Um, some of them we will use, some of them we don't need. But I'm just going to copy a command into the terminal. And we can see here, there's a whole bunch of options. So first one, uh, dash S, this is the name of my local SQL Server. Uh, this is going to be dependent on which option you chose when you installed SQL Server, whether that was SQL Express or a Docker container. But uh, when you set up SQL Server, you should have been provided the name of the server itself. And then the admin password. And so this is the admin password for the Experience by Kentico solution, the website that will be running when the project is uh, finished installing. It is not the password for the SQL Server database. Um, the D option is the name of the database. I'm going to have this name match the name of my project. You can name it whatever you want. And then this option is for a license file. Um, if you don't have an Experience by Kentico license, what you can do is you can go to the documentation. You can see here under installation, there's a menu item for licenses. And I'll click this. And there's some information in here about licenses. But we can see here under Evaluate Experience by Kentico, there's a link to the Kentico client portal. And you can create an account there and generate an evaluation license key. And that's just a string of characters. You can put that into a text file. And that is what I'm referencing here, a relative path from my current directory. There's an experience license text file that has that license in it. And then this last option, Recreate Existing Database. I just have this set so that in case I have a Dancing Goat database, uh, set up locally, it will just recreate that for me. So I'll go ahead and run this. Okay, so the database finished installing. And now that it's complete and ready to go, I'm going to go back to the terminal and I'm going to type code dot and that will use VS Code to open up the current directory as a project. We can see here I have a whole bunch of files in my uh, Explorer view. And this is the ASP.NET Core application that hosts Experience by Kentico. Uh, but we aren't going to pay attention to this Explorer view. Instead, what we're going to focus on is this Solution Explorer uh, pane right here. And if you don't have this in your VS Code instance, it's probably because you needed to install an extension. So if you're using Rider or Visual Studio, C Sharp support, .NET support comes with the IDE. In VS Code, it's an extension. So I'm going to go over to the extensions right here, and I'm going to type in C Sharp. And we can see the C Sharp Dev Kit extension. So once you have that extension installed, you'll be able to see this Explo Solution Explorer pane. And you can open that up, and you'll see Spotlight from me. And that's because uh, I'm in the Spotlight folder. Uh, the extension will create a solution file for you based on the name of the folder that it's in. Um, but underneath that, it auto added the Dancing Goat Experience by Kentico application. So I can right click that and go to Debug and select Start Without Debugging. And what this will do is it will start up the application, show some information in the terminal, the port that it's using, and the URL. And it should auto open a browser once the application's ready. And actually, it did for me. And I'm just going to copy that URL and paste it into my browser. So here we go. So this is the Dancing Goat Experience by Kentico application. And if you want to log into the administration and see all the things that a marketer would use or a developer could customize within the application, you can go to forward slash admin, and this will bring up a login page. And the username is always going to be administrator. And then the password is going to be the password that we provided in the terminal when we were creating the database. And that for me is the dash A option here, and it's pass at 12345. So I'll go ahead and type that in. Pass at 12345, sign in, and there we go. We are in Experience by Kentico, and I'm going to expand this, and we can do everything now. So we can create channels dynamically. We can see we have a website and email channel. I could even create a headless channel here. Um, 
we can manage content types. So I can create new content types to model the content that I want to deliver over those channels, uh, information I want to display on a website or deliver over the uh, GraphQL API that's exposed by headless channels. Uh, I can also author content in the Content Hub. So for example, you could come in here and start authoring and creating content. Um, and additionally, you can go to the website channel that's included in the demo and open up landing pages, coffee samples, go to the page builder, edit the page and start working with all the pre-built components that are part of this solution and even add new components, new widgets and publish those and see them live on the site. Thanks for watching. Stay subscribed so you can keep learning the skills you need to build amazing digital experiences with Experience by Kentico. And stay tuned for the next Experience by Kentico Technical Spotlight.